obviously not in Bolivia. In Bolivia, it's summertime, and where I'm at, it is freezing. I am visiting and seeing my family in Houston, Texas. I'm in the States for the first time in a year and a half. Simon, unfortunately, isn't here. He's holding down things at the farm and doing a whole bunch of projects, working super hard. It's gonna be crazy to return after being gone for a few weeks and seeing how much has changed and upgraded. It's wild to sit here because two and a half years ago, I sat from the same spot and recorded sharing about my dreams with leaving the States and moving to South America to travel and being open to following with my intuition, this calling that I've had on my life for a long time to just go down South. And I know this word is thrown around a lot, but I truly manifested my dream life. When I was recording this video explaining why I was doing this, I didn't actually fully know what my dream life was. That kind of developed as I was traveling from country to country and really spending time working on myself, getting to know people, learning more about my desires. So it's just wild that I'm living in Bolivia. I still have to sit with that pretty often to absorb it because we live in this vortex in Niske where time just flies by. Like the days here in the States just seem so slow. Obviously I'm a lot less busy here. So this break has been really nice. I have picked up my camera the last few months. I honestly don't remember what I recorded, but I haven't really done a video in a while showing what life has been like for me in Bolivia. Like what holidays we've been celebrating with our community, what's been going on on the farm. So after I record this right now, I'm going to go and edit and look through some of my footage, which is gonna take forever, but just to share some clips of what has been going on in my life for the last few months. Texas is freezing over, Houston in particular. Like literally all the restaurants and movie theaters around here, the movie theater my brother works at, their Coke machines weren't working, their toilets weren't working, everyone's pipes are frozen, <laughs> and everyone's freaking out. I'm just enjoying some really special time with my family. It's been really really wonderful this is the time that i'm just reflecting on the last couple of years not even just the last year as we move into 2023 and set new intentions for what's to come so i hope you enjoy this video this is what's been going on in bolivia good morning good morning <laughs> welcome back to september it is another beautiful september which means bulls i mean i feel like there's always bulls Buenos Aires. Buen dia. I don't know what time it is. I feel like there's always bulls in Miske, whether there's like a football tournament, the anniversary, celebrating a saint. Mm -hmm. But this month is especially special. So we're going to take you guys with us for the second time, my second corrida. And I don't know what to expect. It could be just the exact same as last year, a little bit different, but we're going to go to our neighbors right now where we prepared food last night um, at our syndicato meeting. We're just gonna have lunch and then I think we're all gonna load up in the truck to go round up some bulls. But let's go. Buen dia, hola, como están? Suma pagarin. Suma puncha, yeah? Oli! Bateria, como estas? Hola. Estamos aquí. Hola. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Eh, hemos venido a cargar el torito. ¿Y tú? B no, ¿Vas no, a molestarlos? No. Aprecio mi vida. <laughs> hey, baby. How was the ride? Yeah. It's all up your nose. Molesta con guay. De unión pasada, pero chaval, reinado. Estás tú para chaturar, reinado. 
Ya, pónganse eso y todo, pero no haga caer para arriba de la cocina. Un refresco. Se ha Thank you to the owners that let us come and take their bull and now we're all loading up it. I don't know what we're doing. And testing your homemade sunscreen on like a part of your hand before applying it to a lot of your body. I made this once before and I know I have an allergic reaction to it. It also smells so amazing. Like that coconut oil mixed with eucalyptus. Oh, it makes it smell like a cake you want to eat. <laughs> but as far as the SPF, it's hard to know like Coconut oil naturally has a 4 or 5 SPF and then with the zinc oxide, it's hard to know. So I'm gonna test this out. I turn red really easily. I'm probably a little red already from today. Just walking around and feeding the animals. And you know, oil usually tends to attract the sun, but somehow coconut oil doesn't. But I did add castaño oil, like a Brazil nut oil. I'd say that I really started on this journey of making my own products, cleaners, soap, shampoos, 
and a lot of other things when I moved here because I was kind of forced to, but also just the awareness of once you live in nature that you just naturally want to care for nature more and your body is nature, we are nature. So it just came naturally that even if I could purchase things, like obviously they sell soap and shampoos here and they probably have a lot less uh, ingredients in them than most places do. But yeah, just knowing exactly what goes into the things you're putting on your body every day is really nice. Simon just killed two ducks yesterday. So I think the ducks are going on strike by not producing eggs. They really haven't been lately. Could be a number of reasons, but they definitely know their days are counted here. I don't know, I feel like this could last two weeks. Like it starts to kind of Carbonate, it's a citrus cleaner that I make just with baking soda and boiled lemon skins and water. We made a bunch of ginger beer, that's why we had so many lemon skins. Like I had, I had even more, my whole compost bucket is full. So yeah, this works really well. I use it to clean our floor, our bathroom. I'll dilute it in a little bit of water. Yeah, it's great. Well, this is rare. I think it's once every like two months maybe. They'll catch me eating alone. The reason I'm alone today is because Simon and Ron and Mirko have been here for almost three weeks. My name is Mirko van Fleet and I'm from Holland. My name is Ryan Bolton, but I go by Ra now and I'm from Australia. You're on a bike ride. Nice to see you stay back and have some alone time. Too hot for everyone to enjoy right now. Brandon, no. Is it too hot? I'm sorry. Oh, that is hot. Bringing the toes to touch, heels are apart. Ground all four corners of the feet into the mat. Into the ribs, coming all the way onto our bellies. As always, we have had another flow of students come stay at the farm and they have been making more gardens and caring for the animals by bettering their spaces. We have also gotten addicted to a couple of games that we play off and on all day, and it helps us decide who does the dishes after each meal. We should have Two, three. Oh, oh. Day of the Dead came and went pretty quickly this year.
I can only handle so much chicha, and there's no saying no to chicha. Not as good as the last one. Gracias. Okay, girls. There you go. Freedom. Yes. It's a big house. It's a nice big house. Where are we? Oh, all the animals got an upgrade today. Nice. Cool, girls. You okay, bum buns? Okay. When did that happen? <laughs> We're going to check on our new bunnies that were born three days ago. Unfortunately, we found one that was out of the nest. A couple of them were, and one we tried to save by getting warm. It was like already pretty cold when we found it, and it didn't make it. Um, but I think there's still 10 baby bunnies in there, so we're gonna go make sure that they're alive and there's not any dead ones so they're so they won't attract ants so let's hope for the best okay oh there's a dead one yeah no this one i'm gonna find out we have to be careful when we step in here too because another dead one yeah I gotta get in I gotta get in here and look <laughs> they're so big <gasps> it's running around oh he's so cute look at that sweet face I love them so much you okay, Jimmy? You okay? Mm -mm. Look how cute they are. Nice. They smell like a baby puppy. She's a bigger one too. Hang out for a little bit. I just brought this girl on a little walk and it was quite the nature walk of course I didn't bring my phone or my camera with me and as we were walking these two humongous rabbits the biggest rabbits I've ever seen were chasing each other and then getting up on their hind legs and fighting like kangaroos and they went off and then I stood there a couple minutes and noticed they started running back and they probably got within like uh, 10 meters of me which is really close because normally when I see these rabbits it's for a second in the distance and they run off but they were literally like huge but look how much better this girl is doing she's still really skittish um it just depends on her mood but she can be really chill as well you just went on a walk and she really enjoyed it hmm. Sweet girl, getting some meat on them bones. Lately, we have been really focused on water projects with our community. Se llama Swale. El año pasado, 20 veces yo llenado esto. We are hoping to help our community to be better prepared for each dry season as it's always a struggle for them. Ese es el efecto de la humedad, ¿no? Y los zanjas va a ser lo mismo. Esto es por siempre hay, o cuando hay agua en el río, pasa mayormente el agua aquí, ¿no? Y los árboles, así nomás. This is crazy. Earlier I could see smoke. 
It's traveling across the mountains. Simon's uh, coming to pick me up so we could get a better look at it. Hi, boy. Hi, honey. Oh! Ouch. Hi. Hi, pretty. Are you thanking me for dinner tonight? They get super hyper when the sun goes down. I don't know why. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you, the beautiful sunset, but that smoke. Yeah, you can see that lav lava. You can see the burning brush. It's traveled. Because earlier, I only saw it coming from one area. It's, it's traveling fast. We'll be back, boys. That specifically is the ravine that we're talking about. Simon and the local government are working towards a water project in that specific area. So I don't know how long it's been exactly since Fernando helped me and Helen transplant these beterabas, beets. But here we are now. The first one. Wow, it's the first one! <laughs> right. Pretty good. Oh, it's so good. Pretty, uh, sweeter. Little guy. Too mm. small? That's alright. They're sweeter, you said, when they're younger. Let's mm -hmm. get two. Okay, so that's enough. Plenty for a salad for three of us. Yeah. <clears throat> what you doing? You helping? Looking for a place to poop? The world is your toilet. That's her son. He gets really excited every time that he sees us, sees her. And he was on our property this morning. He broke free from the rope. He's super strong. Okay, Blanquita. Come on, girl. Hi. You found me. You found me. You found me. She's going for a walk. Rocky just came to join us. for running today actually. She usually runs with me a little with more energy. I think because she's hungry. It's better to take her after we fed her dinner. October and early November were pretty slow with travelers coming through Bolivia. So as things picked back up, new projects were on their way. So, uh, hi, I'm David Chalamans. I come from Tetzalan, I'm a metal builder. And uh, we will try to make a new uh, solar oven. Expanded our duck pond, dug two more swales, utilized the fresh mud to get adobe bricks made. And started towards growing a food forest around the new swales.
One of the most mystical times of year is when the rain starts to finally grace us with her presence after many dry months. The lightning bugs begin to fill the land like twinkling stars. With the rainy season about to start any time, it was important that we had the adobe bricks finished. We weren't sure exactly what we were going to build with them first, but Simon made sure they were ready to store just in time before the rain came. Simon came home from running errands one day and told me that our neighbor, Doña Silvia, who we got Brandon and Chappelle from, had puppies. Having my own dog has been something heavy on my heart lately this year, but I wanted it to be one who needed a home and divinely walked into our life. He almost immediately separated from his brothers and gave me attention when he saw me. Com completo con fugas. <laughs> this is the yapa. Oh. conmigo? Yeah, bye. Can you come home with me? That was good enough for me, and he stole my heart. It was time to add to our farm family. Last night, we did a little bit, but we didn't have any treats. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Look up here. Nice. Good boy. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Good boy. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. Look at all that chicken. I'm harvesting my first kohlrabi ever. I've never eaten this vegetable before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever even seen or heard of it before until this last year when I bought the seeds. I am super excited to eat these for the first time because I've heard really good things about the taste and I'm going to make some for breakfast. Last night I was laying in bed and I was just like, I wonder when my kohlrabi are ready to harvest. And I looked online and saw that they can get too big and then lose 
the the taste that's really good and the texture and so I'm kind of harvesting them a little early right now they're they're small like I think they're supposed to be like three inches in diameter bigger than a baseball this one's like a little smaller than a baseball this is the white Vienna variety and I have the purple we are 12 people right now, so I'm hoping that I have more of these ready. We have a white fly problem in this side of the garden, which is super annoying. Yeah, they do, they do. Yeah. The, the radio here, the, the um, how much people are living in the different areas. Mm -hmm. leaving the sky for three weeks and in the 10 days almost two weeks we've had him he's like grown so much are you gonna remember me when i come back my baby but it'll be good bonding time for him and simon hey boy hey boy oh my baby where's my baby i'm gonna miss you i'm gonna miss you